Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a little bit something different and a little bit something strange, um, but I hope you'll enjoy it. I know that there have been a lot of ladies and a lot of discussions going around the beauty and panning community recently about the age of your makeup. Basically what it is, if you've not seen it, is um, I'll link everybody's channel down below who I know that have done a video. But Andrea from Dolled Up Daisy did one. Lauren from Lauren Made Beauty, I think her channel is. Um, she did one um, and somebody else did one as well. Who was it? Faith. Faith did one. Um, I'll link everybody's channel down below who I know have seen something along these lines. But basically what the premise is, is there are some websites and I'll link those down below as well. Check Fresh and Check Cosmetic. You can put in the batch code and you'll find out just how old your makeup is, like when it was manufactured. And I was kind of, kind of inspired to do this, but for me it's not really applicable and let me explain why. I only really started my makeup collection two, maybe three years ago. Um, so by that you can already gather that the makeup that I have acquired, acquired two to three years ago. Another reason that it doesn't really apply to me is that I do not purchase from third party people. I very rarely have access to super, super clearance. So the ladies that have done these videos, they often find that the shops that they're getting them from are third party where it's been passed on to them and then they're selling it on even though it's like 10 years old or whatever. I don't shop in these places, well, I don't acquire my makeup in these places, which in hindsight is kind of a little bit lucky that I've never found anything that I've wanted to buy from these places because I could imagine that something that I have acquired would be really, really old now. But what I did do instead was it got me to thinking that, okay, even though I only started my collection two to three years ago, three years is fairly old, especially for cream type products. So I went through my collection and I've basically curated a box of items that will probably go bad at some point soon. So if they haven't already gone bad, I need to use them within the year 2018. Some of the items I will not be able to finish completely. I can tell you that now. So like there's two or three highlighters in there. I'll not be able to get through three highlighters in a year. It's just, they're full size. So it, I mean, the likelihood is very, 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 th very slim. If they are going to go bad by the end of next year, which th at that point they'll be almost four years old, I want to get my use out of it. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Basically, I have a box of things that I want to use before the end of December 2018. And if I use it up, that's great. If I don't use it up, then I know that I've got use out of an item that otherwise would have been sat in my collection and it would have been four years old. And they're still good. All these items I have checked, I declutter my uh, items regularly, so things that are still in my collection right now are still good. But they might not be come January 2019. And that's the point of this, is I want to get use out of these items before they do go bad. If anyone's watching this and they're thinking, yes, but Claire, you can still go ahead and check the batch codes on your things because you don't know if the direct sellers are selling them. You know, it might have been sat in a drawer for ages. Um, I did check a large portion of my items and everything seems to be okay. So I'm comfortable in the knowledge that everything that says that it's manufactured the day I bought it, then I believe it. So I'm just going to go through the items that are in here. It's going to be a bit of a, all over the place because I just dumped a load of items in here and it's all mixed up. So it's not just like I can't dig out all the lip products and do that because there's other stuff on top. So I'm just going to grab things and go. Sorry if it's chaotic. The first item is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Antwerp. Still smells good. It kind of smells like cake and that's what that one looks like. Um, I have an another NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This one is in Stockholm. I'll have to ignore the swatches that are already on my hand. I just finished filming. I know what else find these really really patchy. An update. There's that one in Stockholm. Uh, the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Candy. I love the shade of this. That's that one. Um, I have a MAC uh, blush here that is, it is the Sheer Tone Blush in Breath of Plum. That's what that one looks like. That's just that one there. Um, I have a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter in Lightscapade. 
This is one of my favorite highlighters. And I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit, it's all, it's so close to my skin tone that you can barely see it, which is why I love it as a highlight because it's so subtle. Even though on occasion I do enjoy the crazy highlight. This is the uh, Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC in Soft and Gentle. And that's that one there. Sorry, it's a bit bright. I have the Benefit Hula Bronzer. We all know what that one looks like. Um, I have another MAC blush. This is the Sheer Tone Blush again in Peaches. Um, I have a the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion uh, Mascara. Another NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This one's in Milan. That's what that one looks like. I have the Urban Decay Naked Revolution Lipstick in Jilted. And that's that one there. I have the Urban Decay Matte Revolution Lipstick in Matte Bittersweet. And that's that one there. Um, all of the items that are in here are not stuff that I'm currently using. So anything that I'm currently using won't be in this box. But I wanted to give you guys some ideas as to what I'm going to be working with next year. Um, I have two lip pencils here um, that I got from eBay. They're just a, um, it says Petite Robe on it. So I guess that's the brand. Um, but they're really, really nice. Pencils. And they did. They don't have colours, um, and that's what those two look like. One's red and one's more of a pinky. Um, I have the MAC Lip Liner in Whirl. We all know what this one looks like too. That's there. Um, I have the Gerard Cosmetics Hydro Matte um, Liquid Lipstick in Share. That's what that one looks like. I have the Nivea Pearly Shine Lip Balm. And I have about that much left. I have the Gerard Cosmetics Lipstick in Tequila Sunrise, and that's what that one looks like. Oh, I'll give you a swatch of that. It's just that one there. The Maybelline uh, Color Sensational, this is the original formula in 630 Velvet Beige. I love this lipstick. Perfect time of year for it as well. Especially on my skin tone. Like, a lot of people, this would just be a nude for them. But for me, it's really, really deep. As you can see, so I have the Benefit Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow in Always a Bridesmaid. I loved these. They discontinued them, and that's what that one looks like. Um, I had, I bought two of these at the same time, and one of them went bad. So I know that this one's going to go bad soon. It still smells good though. I have the W7 Get Set Eyeshadow Base in white. That's just a, as you can see, white eyeshadow base. I have the. Gerard Cosmetics Hydromet in Aphrodite. That's the one there. Um, I have the Color Sensational Matte in 975 Divine Wine. What that one looks like. I have the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Pink Gold. And I have a massive dip in this. And that's what that one looks like. It's really pretty. I love that shade. I'd probably get it again. Um, if this one ran out or went bad, I'd definitely get the shade again. I don't know if it's limited edition or if they even do these anymore, but i definitely try anyway. I have the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder in Audrey, I think. they There's no markings on here. I would have thought they would have put a sticker on the back. Or maybe they were supposed to and forgot. I don't know. Somebody tell me if they have one of these and it's got a sticker on the back. It is genuine, I ordered it directly from them, so. Um. That's not the greatest swatch in the world, but that's what that one looks like. Um, I have the Nivea Lip Butter in a Raspberry Rosé. That's what that one looks like. I have the Revo Lip Balm in Watermelon. It's brand new. Benefit Gimme Brow Sample in shade number one. Urban Decay 8 Hour Blush in Quickie. I love this blush. That's what that one looks like. I need to like clean my arms. I have a Avon Lip Balm in Pink Magnolia with Vitamin E. 
another Urban Decay Naked Revolution lipstick. Uh, Revolution lipstick in Obsessed. It's my favorite ever lipstick. Just looks like that. And my last Urban Decay Naked Revolution lipstick. This one is an F bomb, and that's what that one looks like. I have the Lacquer and Co Cheeky Lip Pencil in Humble Brag. That's what that one looks like. I have two Avon uh, eye pencils, one in Flipping Out Pink and one in Blue Starlight. So that one's Blue Starlight and that one is Flipping Out Pink. You can see on my hand and my arm where the lipstick is stained by arm. Always an attractive look. I have the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in 603 Pots and Pans and that's what that one looks like. I have the LOC Eye Pencil One and Done Shadow Stick in Champagne Problems. And that's what that one looks like. I have a ton more of these unbranded pencils that need to be used up. You know the ones that I got on eBay. Um, two of them I'd use it as like, they're supposed to be eyeliners, but I'd use them as eyeshadows as a base. Apparently one of them I already have. That's what those two look like. One's a bronze and one's a gold. Um, and I have four here that I'd use as eyeliners. And apparently I've already done that as well. They are so soft. Um, that's what those four look like. So there's a brown, a black, a purple, and a green. Um, and I have a, cu a couple of the PS Love lip pencils. Um, one is in red and the other one is in dark pink. Oh, that's right on the knuckle. This isn't going to swatch very well. Okay, so that one's the red one, that one's the pink one. A MAC lip liner in He Said, She Said, which is that one there. An Urban Decay lip liner in Rush, which is that one there. Um, I have the NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil in 706 Gold. I'd use this as an eyeshadow as well. That's that one there. I have two brow pencils. One's in black, so I'd use it as an eyeliner. That's that one. And that's the NYX Eyebrow Pencil in black. Um, and this one is the Rimmel Eye Pencil, Eyebrow Pencil in 001 Dark Brown. Wow, I think this is going in a bin. Oh my god, I'd be there forever. And that's what that one looks like. And this is going in the trash. Oh, I have an Avon Super Shock Gel Eyeliner in black. And that's that one there. Don't know why I'm swatching black eyeliners. You know what black eyeliner looks like. And I have two more of the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Mats. One is in Immortal and the other one is in Serenity. And that one's Serenity, that one is Immortal. Another Maybelline Colour Sensational. This one's in 220 Sugar Plum. And that is what that one looks like. I have the Maybelline Colour Tattoo um, in Creme de Nude. That's what that one looks like. I won't swatch that because it's the same colour as my skin. Um, I have a Benefit Creases Cream Eyeshadow Sample in My Two Cents. That's what that one looks like. Oh god, I love these. That's what that one looks like. I can't believe they discontinued them. I know I said that like five minutes ago with the other one, but still. Um, I have the Nivea Lip Butter in Vanilla and Macadamia. And that's what that one looks like. It just smells so good. I have the 17 Lips Supreme Shine Lipstick in Hot Flash. That's what that one looks like. I have these two Revo, what are they called? Twist and Pout by Revo Lip Balms. That one's in Watermelon. And this one, I believe, is in Blueberry. Or it's either Blueberry or Blue Raspberry. And I have three more lip balms here. This one is the Carmex Pomegranate. This one is the Burt's Bees in Hibiscus Tinted Lip Balm. That's the shade of it. And this one is just the original plain boring chapstick. I also have the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Mattifying Base. And the last item is this, let's take it out of the box, is the Avon Magics primer thing. It's just like a silicone primer. I love how that feels, it just doesn't it's not the best silicone primer in the world. Um, so that's all the items that I want to, even if I don't use them up, I want to get some use out of them before they go bad. And they're, they're my oldest products, so they're definitely going to go bad soonish. Um, so if they don't go bad before the new year, then I want to focus on getting some use out of them in 2018. Sorry, I'm making so much noise moving everything. Put it back in the box. Okay, 
everything is back in the box. So as I was saying, yes. Um, so this is the stuff that I want to concentrate on using in 2018. Um, I might not use everything up completely, but the idea is that I get use out of the stuff that's in my collection before it goes bad. And this is the stuff that I got the longest ago. So the stuff there is still stuff in my collection, but that's new stuff that's come in birch boxes and or stuff that I've bought when my no buy didn't count. So like stuff that I got while I was abroad, that kind of a thing. So this is the stuff that I paid with with my own money before I went on my no buy. And it's just sitting in my collection. And at some point soon, it's going to go bad. The smells are going to start to go and all that sort of stuff. So I want to use it up or get use out of it before that happens. Um, the reason I'm not doing it now is because I still have quite a few project pans to work on for the rest of the year. And I want to focus on those items that I'm are in project pans right now. Next year I'm not going to be doing so many project pans um, back to back. This year's just been insane. I have so many projects still and we're in October. And I think we've only completed, what, three? Maybe four. And that's a scary thought. It's like, that's... There's loads, loads of projects done this year. Um, so next year, I'll still be doing quite a few, just slightly less, which will enable me to focus on other projects, uh, other products. And these products here, these are ones that I can put into project pans for next year. So it, I just wanted to show you the items that were in my collection that I'll be focusing on for the near future. I hope this video wasn't a little too weird or a little bit strange or slow or boring um, I just wanted to put my two cents out there this is my collection this is my addiction this is what I acquired well this is a portion of what I acquired I want to join those people that are owning it I consider myself lucky that I have not not a small collection but I acquired a lot in like a short amount of time um, so I feel lucky that I did acquire it in such a short amount of time and that it has only been recently that I got into makeup because if I'd been into makeup for all through my teenage years and all through my 20s, I would have a crazy, crazy, crazy amount. And yes, I'd still end up decluttering some things like as I go, but I could imagine that my collection would be a lot older than it currently is. Um, so ladies who are out there who've gone through their whole collection and basically all of it's out of date. I'm really, really sorry. I feel so bad for you, but I feel good that you don't have to use those items anymore. Um, I know how it feels to concentrate, especially eyeshadows and blushes that you've been working on for ages. And, you know, you can get those out of your collection now. You can focus on the newer stuff, the shiny stuff, the pretty stuff that you spent your hard-earned money on. That's just my opinion and my input into this whole craze that seems to be going around right now um so i hope that you enjoyed the video um if you do do a video where you check your numbers and declutter a load of stuff please let me know because for some reason i find stuff like that fascinating i love watching people go through their collection and see what they keep and what they get rid of it's not just a case of i enjoy learning about that person about the kinds of products that they like but I, d I don't know. Maybe it's that I enjoy seeing makeup laid out. That's probably more likely. Anyway, take care, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.